Riven is an incredibly exciting, explosive, and fun champion to watch. This is exemplified every time Riven is picked in competitive play, and furthermore, when Riven actually does something in the game. Now the Mera comes in, but at the same time, a fight in the bottom side. Ulti used on the kid to keep alive. Reckless tries to zone the team out. There's Annie so low, but there come the teleports. Hootie has arrived, and all of Everyone's dying in this fight. Reckless goes down. Zatai gets a bunch Hootie! back. But Hootie! Hootie! The double! The double! The double! The, 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 the triple kill! kill! The quadra kill for Hooney! Fundamentally, this champion isn't as suited to pro play as a lot of other top laners. She lacks hard setup, is counterpicked easily, and has a very telegraphed playstyle. She is also extremely resource dependent and can't be starved. That being said, Riven can work in pro, but this is largely due to the skill of the pilot on the champion. The play right now, Fear comes in, finds two, the sun on top, is this the fight that TSM needs? But Viper charges right back in, it's Venomous, four kills, and the stopwatch stops the reset, so nothing comes Riven is often referred to as a one-trick champion. This is because Riven isn't easily rotated in a champion pool. She must be played often to be kept sharp and her limits must be well known to succeed. These are two problems I believe Broken Blade and X Riven One Trick had in the G2 game against RNG. Maybe go towards something like a Scion here still for break Broken Blade, but at least it's not as big of a threat with a long range of push. Dagger, that Riven is locked. That's not a meme hover. Are we getting the Broken Blade? Broken Blade? This man is Before this is even addressed though, we need to look at a couple of other reasons Broken Blade's Riven didn't work. Firstly, the summoner spells. In this game, Broken Blade took Ignite Teleport. While these spells are fine on Riven, as her mobility can often allow her to succeed without Flash, she really needed it into this comp. How can Riven ever be allowed to gap close onto their backline without it? Furthermore, once Gwen goes Tabby first item into double AD top, Riven can basically never kill her without Flash unless Gwen completely ints, nullifying her Ignite. Riven should have gone Flash TP this game and just played to outfarm Gwen and gain relevancy through CS and levels before being enabled by Death Dance and Yumi. We also saw a pretty avoidable kill that wouldn't have even been attempted by RNG if Riven had taken Flash. TP Ignite Riven works very well into dive comps. Think along the lines of Renekton Top, Viego Jungle, Silas Mid, Samira ADC, and Nautilus Support. All of these champions have to come to Riven to fight, and therefore she doesn't need Flash. Into this comp, Riven can never get past Ari and Rakan to fight the Zaya. Another point I noticed was BB's lack of confidence on Riven. In this clip, Riven can 2v3 with Mercs, Yumi, and Death Dance. No ults available, Riven simply Q3s over this wall, eats the Ari charm or dodges it, kills Zaya, heals off Death Dance, and can continue fighting or leave. If this was built Riven, this game would have been a different story. I don't think Riven is bad and competitive, she does however need the correct setup into certain comps and thrives on having another champion to engage for her, which G2 did not. It's extremely easy to see when a flashless Riven wants to engage. Who else is going to do it for G2? I don't think there are any other Riven players at MSI, unless Faker picks it into a Yasuo mid or something but we can only hope. I really wish there was ProView or something, or the equivalent of ProView, uh, because I really would have liked to review this game in particular, but these were just a few problems that I noticed in the G2 versus RNG game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a subscription if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.